Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode is powered by Hayabusa. It's all about bringing old school techniques into the new school. In today's episode, we're talking about an old school technique that was used in kickboxing that I'm gonna introduce back in the modern day for you. Some of the strikes that we wanna talk about first that kinda of have gone through that transition would be one, the calf kick, right? The calf kick and the low kick weren't really used for many years and then we started seeing a resurgence. The calf kick is actually a very old traditional technique used in some older martial arts. It's coming back. The leg kick, we saw a lot in older school martial arts. It brought back with modern day K1 kickboxing and we saw it evolve as well. Recent days in MMA, we also saw the front kick. Who was really throwing front kicks and getting good success with them? It wasn't until Belfort and we saw Anderson Silva really land them very clean that we started saying, hey, look, the front kick, which is the first strike you learn in any traditional martial arts, is still a very effective weapon. So part of my studying and thinking and learning when I'm watching all these fights is I watch and study a lot of old school martial arts, old school kickboxing, and today's strike really came clear to me that we don't use it enough, we don't see it enough. So let me get into it, and this is one of the old school kick to punch strikes. Now, in modern day martial arts, even here at Bazooka Kickboxing, you learn, you know, basic boxing combinations, you learn single kicks, and then when you start getting better, you start putting your punches and kicks into combinations, right? Some of our favorites, jab, round kick, one, two, switch kick, but if you start noticing, everything is on the same beat. Jab, kick, one, two, switch, kick, one, two, three, kick. So this kick punch technique, okay, Again, it's quicker, it's offbeat, it's faster, but when you use it with your traditional techniques and setups, it works that much better for you. Okay, so let's get into what this kick punch technique is. Now, a lot of times when we first start learning, like I said, it's punch, kick, okay? So the idea is now I wanna kick and then before I bring my foot down, I fuel the punch, okay? So it's gonna go, kick punch right down the middle, okay? And if you watch a lot of old school above the waist kickboxing, this was a very valuable technique. Why? Because they didn't have the low kicks and the calf kicks. They had to kick above the waist. Also, they relied a little bit more on boxing and body kicking. So this is a perfect technique to hit the body kick as well as the punch at the same time, okay? So set up nicely, you get the guard up, and then once you have that little body technique here, and back. Now, when I teach this technique, okay, I also reference it almost similar to the Superman punch, right? Because when we teach the Superman punch, it's knee up, and as I donkey kick back, I extend my punch. So this is the same kind of thinking I want you to think about the kick punch here. So kick, punch, right after. Now, Matt can even just hold this hand up so I can smack, but when you come here, boom, you can start generating good power, right? I might body kick first, and then bing, boom, I can get nice fast, or I mask the hand, kick punch right into it nice and fast, okay? So you can see the offbeat rhythm, and you can generate a lot of power. Now let me break down the detail of this. Now, I always talk about having variations in kicks. This first kick, because the punch is firing fast right after, I don't want to pivot too much. So if you notice, my first kick is almost a 45 kick. Now, I've even seen some old school martial artists teach it where they don't even hit the body. I like the 45 kick to go right under here so I can damage, boom. But a lot of martial artists are gonna teach almost throwing a front kick beside the body. It's just to get the reaction to be able to punch. It's like, bing, boom, okay? But again, like I said, I like that 45 right underneath the elbow so I can hit, kick back, and drive the punch. Now, you're gonna generate obviously most power with the rear kick, rear punch style, right? Fast, aggressive, powerful, offbeat, but you can almost add the same type of technique off of the switch kick, okay? So when I throw my switch kick here, boom, bang, the punch comes back after one, two, okay? So it's a little bit one, two, and I kick back, okay? Not used as much, but it's very quick, very effective, bang, boom, and then I can come bang, boom, right? So you can see that offbeat rhythm that you can throw at, especially if you can get your opponent to shell up, even better, if they're kind of moving and a little bit more dynamic, it's gonna be a little harder. So if I were to implement it in the big picture, the big story, right, it's one, getting Matt to shell up, right? 
As soon as I get him to shell up with fainting, maybe I throw a body kick, faint, and the next thing you know, boom, I can get the technique. Shell him up, bing, boom, hit, attack, right? Shell him up, bing, boom, right down the middle. Faint, get the shell, bing, boom, bang. So I can really use that offbeat kick punch technique to do really well. Now, if you're gonna get the knockout, it's gonna come up rear leg, rear hand for the power. Now, I said they get the shell, if, say, I throw the kick and they move right away, boom, okay, I can't reach. So this is where maybe I can mix this and then if they move, I can do the Superman. So options off of it, but key thing for me, quick touch, bang, right? I can follow up after it very easy. Get the shell, kick punch off rhythm and see how it works for you. Old school techniques being used in modern day martial arts, all right? Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you keep liking, subscribing, hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Also, support the channel sponsors. We have Hayabusa by going to Hayabusa Fight. Make sure you check out the link below. T3 lines, my personal favorite when it comes to the boxing gloves. We have Perfect Sports Nutrition. Using code Bazooka20 gets you 20% off your order. As well, we have bazookatraining.com, where for less than 10 bucks a month, you get me teaching you curriculum every single Monday, plus with an archive videos of over 200 now, all kind of classified and kind of categorized for your needs. Boxing, kicking, knees, combinations, fight concepts, and we also have different categories, right? Home workouts, bag workouts, tutorials, sparring drills, everything for your needs and depending on the equipment. If you have no equipment at home, the home workouts are for you. You got a, a bag collecting dust, follow the bag workout section. But I always recommend all of my followers to watch all four videos. Even you might not have a bag at home, but it helps you get used to my language, my curriculum, and all the different important details of stepping, entering, exiting, angling, hand position, all at bazookatraining.com, all right? Like, subscribe, share with your friends, hopefully not your opponent, but also share with your opponent because I need to get to 100,000 subscribers. So we'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.